Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers, bringing you guys our next matchup in the upgraded tournament. So, uh, in a few seconds, I'll go over all the rules. How this whole thing works is pretty simple. We know most of this by now. 48 characters into a tournament, and then each day on the channel, I upload one of the matches from the tournament, and then we vote between one of the two. But before we vote, got to keep in mind, yes, there are a couple rules. Don't worry. They're very easy to follow. You could probably vote, and you'll most likely be following the rules, but just to be safe, let's run down the rules real quick. All right, rule number one, you got to be open-minded for this tournament because it deals with characters that can be upgraded into playable characters. So, we know, assist trophies, spirits, me costumes, background characters, Pokeball, Pokemon, stuff like that. That's who's all in this specific tournament. So, uh, yeah, got to be a little open-minded for this one. Next rule, you only get one vote per person. Yes, only one vote per person. Keep it fair that way. If I see anything suspicious, I will throw out votes. I've done it in the past, and I will do it in the future if it comes down to it. But yeah, one vote per person. Keep it fair that way. How do you vote, though? That's simple. Down in the comments, type the name of the character you were voting for. Yes, you can. Yes, I repeat, you can vote for both. Keep that in mind. Just simply type the word both. That's how that works. Easy. Uh, rest of the rules, though. Double elimination tournament, meaning... Character has to lose two times before being officially eliminated from the tournament. Then once we get to the results to determine the winner loser of each individual match, if there happens to be a tie in the votes, we'll flip a coin on camera. Fairest way to break a tie. And then each match of voting wise only lasts for just one week. Those are the rules. Let's get to the rest of the video. All right. So let's quickly go over the results uh, from the last matchup. Well, not the last matchup, but the results that we're supposed to go over. Let's get those out of the way. So the matchup was between Paper Mario and... Gardevoir, man, uh, it's been a while since we've seen these ones, so uh, uh, quick backstory, Paper Mario's matchup happened to come out right about the time that uh, Paper Mario and the Origami King got announced, so there's a little bit more buzz about Paper Mario, maybe that ended up helping him in this one, because Paper Mario did end up getting the victory in this one, 33 votes for Paper Mario, only 19 for Gardevoir, so uh, Gardevoir drops to the loser bracket, Paper Mario advances to the next round. Of the winner's bracket, we'll get there eventually. That's game 62. We're only on, like, game 30 or match of 34 or something. We'll get there eventually. But speaking of the next match, that's where we're headed. Down to the loser bracket. And remember, loser bracket. Once you're here, if you lose one more time, you are done. You are eliminated. So if you like the character, make sure you get your vote in. Today's matchup, though. Captain Toad from, well, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. Cool little Mario Universe Mario spinoff type of game. Yeah, we know what I mean. And his opponent, Leon Kennedy from the Resident Evil series. I think this could be a fun matchup. I think this could be a pretty good one. So um, we'll start off with the uh, good old Captain Toad. Now, I say this all the time, and I will always say it for Captain Toad, Dixie Kong, a couple other characters. Toad, in general, is a Nintendo all-star. Now, with um, some rumors going around saying that uh, we shouldn't really expect too many third-party characters in uh, Fighter Pass Volume 2. Okay, that kind of leaves first-party characters. And maybe that does leave the door open for characters to be upgraded into playable characters, right? We're still waiting on arms. Come on, Nintendo. you got to be a little bit better with this communication. At least say, hey, it's... The announcement's still coming this month, or give us a date, like, hey, presentation will be here. We just, just give us something, Nintendo, come on now, come on. Been waiting forever for this, just a little something. But anyway, back to the point, Captain Toad, Nintendo All-Star, right? So if we're gonna, say, maybe expect more first-party characters in the Fighter's Pass than, say, third-party, why not Captain Toad? Why not a, why not Toad, Toadette, Toad's Worth? Whatever. Why not? Why not Captain Toad? Game did very well. One of the few games that actually did very well on the Wii U. I believe it got uh, ported to the 3DS, and then it was uh, even ported with even like extra additional stuff onto the Switch. So it's a game that does well, and I would not be surprised to see like a follow-up, like a a true sequel for the uh, Treasure Tracker game. Like it did very well, and Nintendo seemed happy with it. It was kind of a cool way to kind of give. Toad the spotlight into his own game and give him his own sort of tools and stuff. So as you can see, he does have the pickaxe. He does have the headlamp. So where am I going? Let's talk the moveset here. So 
Headlamp. He's got the bulbous head, right? Headbutt. Okay, cool little maybe tilt attack or something like that. Got the pickaxe. You could use that for a smash attack. Uh, you could use that for a side special. Um, he's also got, like, you see a few things here on screen. Turn up cannon. Fires out turn ups. That could be a down special. I don't know. Plucks out a turn up cannon or replaces it, whatever it is. Fires some turn ups. That'd be kind of cool. Clear pipe cannon. That'd be his, like, up special kind of, like, you wouldn't really, I don't know. Would you be able to kind of, like, I don't know, figure out which way it goes. Whatever. Clear pipe cannon. It's got an up special, easy way. Maybe it's, like, maybe you are able to kind of create the pipe, but you could only use it for, you know, a set amount of seconds. So, like, I don't know, five seconds, and you hold up special, but you can hold the uh, direction where you want to go. Kind of cool. Turn up pluck. Uh, he's got a mine cart. I mean, I, I go over all this stuff all the time. Like, the move set for Captain Toad is really, really simple to make, and it's really cool for him to kind of, you know, get into it. And, uh, like, I, plus, I think the stage for uh, Captain Toad stage, you know, coming from his game, and how, like, the, the, the stage is constantly, like, rotating, and you get something different in the background. I know Banjo's got the Spiral Mountain stage, and that, you know, switches things up. I can see, like... For a stage, they could do that and then just expand upon that for a stage. Make his stage really incredible. And, of course, yes, I will. always got to have the alternate. Captain Toadette, you, you got to do that. Come on. It's just too easy not to do, right? So it would be a fun little fun little nod to the series and the characters. But, uh, you know, having the rotating stage would be very fun, very cool, very good callback to the, the character and where he's coming from. And, look, he's an all-star. I'm... He's not necessarily one of the higher up characters I want, but never I will never get an argument. Uh, you will never get an argument uh, from me that says some variant of Toad deserves to be it. No, I, I'm always in the yeah. At this point, should be in the roster. Should be playable. Should just be in Smash Bros. as a playable character by now. How's that? How's that not a thing? Right? I'm still confused about that. Still confused about that, but uh, yeah. So uh, let's talk about Captain Toad's opponent and little little interesting facts here. Well, first up, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil. Now, Resident Evil last week at the PlayStation event, uh, Village, Resident Evil Eight, the Village. That game, I'm I'm pretty excited for that one. Um, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. It looked pretty good to me. I know there's been some mixed reviews on it, but I think it looks great. One thing that I find a little interesting, I don't know if, like, the Resident Evil 7 really just rebooted everything, like, literally everything in the Resident Evil universe, but Leon was has been the star of the Resident Evil games, the even games. Two, four, six, he's been one of the main characters on all, all those games, right? Resident Evil 2 remake, obviously he'd be there because it's a remake, but Resident Evil 8 gets announced. Coming to PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X, but not Switch. Not Switch. Does that could that hurt the chances for a Resident Evil character? The newest big game from Capcom. It doesn't know Capcom work well together. Does that hurt their chance? Like, I, it, it's kind of weird, right? Resident Evil Seven's not on the Switch either. To be fair, to be fair. Wow, that's small. Let's. Uh, there we go. Uh, but I, I find I I don't know. I find it a little weird. Uh, yes, I know we have the spirit, but that's why he's in this tournament, right? The upgraded tournament. And plus, there's different looks of... Le you got the Resident Evil 4 look. You could take the Resident... Like, okay, so here's my point. The Resident Evil 4 Leon is the spirit that we have. Take his Resident Evil 6. Take his Resident Evil uh, 2 remake. Take his most recent look. Make that his character. Make that his new spirit. That way... You know, the Resident Evil 4 Leon Spirit that we already have in the game is much different. So you got two different things. There's many, many characters in the game that already have multiple different spirits of themselves. So having that, no issue. And again, I go over this all the time. Leon's moveset, very easy. Not just weapons, not just guns for him. You got grenades. Yes, you're going to have your handguns, your shotguns. You got um, uh, mine darts. You got grenade launcher type of weapons. First aid sprays or herbs. You got a hook shot for... A recovery kind of Joker-esque type of uh, up, up special there, right? No, what's Joker? Yeah, I don't play Joker too often. He's got the hook shot. You guys know what I mean. Rocket launchers, 
roundhouse kicks, suplexes, shoulder tackles, sliding, you know, sliding, just sliding into your opponent's feet, kind of like not really tripping them, but kind of like just taking them down, stuff like that. So he's got a mix of some uh, some ranged weapons, which would be really fun, and then you can get up close and personal. Uh, he can he can grapple with you. He can do, throw out some melee attacks if he needs to, which he can. So again, I I love. Resident Evil 4, I told you guys this all the time. One of my all-time favorite games. And that will probably end up getting ported to the PS5 and Xbox Series X at some point, right? I mean, it's, it's already on every system ever. So, two more, two new systems coming out. It better be on those. It just has to be at this point. But, for me, I, I absolutely love Leon. He's my... Yeah, he's my favorite Resident Evil character. And then Barry Burton. And then probably Chris, I'd have to say. Actually, Nemesis has got to be up there. It doesn't matter. That's not what this video is about. So, uh, this one's actually really tough for me because, um, like I said with Toad, I will never argue against Toad being in Smash Bros. as a playable character in whatever form that might take. But at the same time, I really love Resident Evil. I, I really like Leon. <sighs> this one's tough for me. This one's actually a little tough for me. Um, Jeez, ah, who am I going to vote for? I don't do this too often. I'm... I think I'm going to vote for both. I'm actually going to vote for both today. I'm, I don't do it too often. I like to be precise, but uh, I, I got to go both today. So that's who my vote is for. Let me know who you guys got down in the comments. Leon, Captain Toad, or both. All good options. Anyway, sneak peek for tomorrow. Looks like the matchup. Sorry, results first. The results for tomorrow are going to be from Pauline, who is taking on Bomberman. We'll see who gets the, the victory there. And then uh, the new matchup for tomorrow is going to be a really good one as well. Chun Lee from the Street Fighter series, who's taking on Lloyd Irving from the Tales of series. Should be a good one. That's tomorrow. Today's today. Today's wrapping up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.